What is the secret behind the spirit of independence? Independence, Kansas, that is. Hello, I'm Bill Curtis. On this special edition of Investigative Reports, we look into the mystery of how a small Midwestern town can host a nationally recognized theater festival each year in honor of its homegrown Pulitzer Prize winning playwright, put on the state's largest annual celebration, attract Fortune 500 companies to its economy, while providing a quality of life that most Americans are looking for but thought didn't exist anymore. Our search begins here. Nestled snugly in America's heartland, tucked away in the rolling hills of southeast Kansas, are some of the state's brightest blossoms, a field of dreams passed down the generations and sustained by a special spirit of independence. Kansas was recently ranked as one of the top 10 most business-friendly states in the nation. That's no surprise to independents. It's worked hard to maintain the quality of life where people can grow and prosper in a progressive small town environment. The life force behind the spirit of independence is the army of citizen volunteers, bolstering every aspect of the community's civic, cultural, and educational endeavors. In return, the city provides its residents with a feeling of security, enjoyment, and accomplishment, with unique opportunities not often found in cities five to ten times as large. Providing a safe, nurturing environment for families has been a primary part of the spirit of independence from its beginnings. Among the early settlers were Pa Engels and his family, made famous by his daughter, Laura Ingalls Wilder, and her book, Little House on the Prairie. Laura's log cabin home has been painstakingly reconstructed on its original site, located 13 miles southwest of Independence. The city's heritage is also celebrated in the Independence Historical Museum. It has a first floor gallery for meetings and exhibitions with over 20 rooms focusing on particular themes from the past, like the oil boom, whose wealth fueled the creation of local tycoons like Harry Sinclair, who founded his oil company in Independence. Legend has it that Independence at the turn of the 20th century had more millionaires per capita than any place else in the United States. Standing as testimony to that legend are the stately mansions scattered throughout the city, including Harry Sinclair's majestic home. As lovely today as yesterday, as is the classic Carnegie Library. Constructed in 1907, it recently underwent a $3 million renovation and new addition as part of the city's quality of life bond issue. As the echo of the oil boom receded, the lifestyle in this county seat town underwent a metamorphosis. The five-story former Arco building, Sinclair's successor, is now home to various businesses and state offices. One of the most enduring legacies of its past is historic downtown independence, where the spirit's vibrant heart beats strongly in its bustling streets. Its broad avenues are flanked by turn-of-the-century buildings, so well-preserved that independence was selected as one of the first five Main Street cities in Kansas. Like the diversity of its four distinct seasons, you can find all types of professional services, as well as a wide variety of downtown retail businesses, specialty stores, and fine restaurants, all supported by an active Chamber of Commerce. And according to the Kansas Department of Revenue, independence retailers attract one of the highest draws of regional trade in the state. Intent on preserving this family heirloom, the city and downtown merchants invested over a million dollars in a new streetscape to make it even more shopper friendly. Satellite shopping areas join in providing high quality merchandise and personalized service to customers. The spirit of independence also thrives because its corporate citizens, including one Fortune 500 company, share the commitment to make their community a great place to live so it will be a great place to work. That spirit is exemplified by the 400 independence employees of Standard Motor Products, one of the largest engine management component manufacturers in the world, and by the homegrown Catalytic Industrial Group, whose patented heating and drying products have been internationally recognized as the world's best catalytic infrared systems. A hallmark of the spirit of independence was the recruitment of Cessna aircraft. Community leaders and volunteers rallied to fill the economic void left by ARCO. They won the worldwide competition to be the site of Cessna's $60 million re-entry into the single-engine aircraft market and the right for independence to claim the title of the light aircraft capital of the world. A key factor in Cessna's decision was the abundant high-quality labor force and the resources to customize training to fit their needs. 
Turnover and absentee rates are low. Productivity and educational levels are high in this right-to-work state. The Cessna and Independence Partnership has been so successful, the company decided to invest $20.4 million to expand the local facility to 528,000 square feet for the assembly of their new Cessna Citation Mustang business jet. A major attraction for Cessna was the 350-acre Independence Airport Industrial Park, featuring a 5,500-foot runway a modern terminal, and an all-weather ILS landing system. There are hundreds of acres of sites available for reasonable rates. Similar sites are offered at the West Laurel Industrial Park, located near Matcor Metal Fabrication, maker of original equipment parts for manufacturers like Case Construction. It uses a variety of forming, welding, and laser cutting techniques. Next door is Hackney, the leading producer of specialized aluminum truck bodies and trailers for the beverage industry. Independence's world-class facility designs, builds, and finishes a variety of products for the international market. Independence's central location, its new Super 2 highways connecting to nearby interstates, and its convenient rail services give quick and economical access to national markets and resources. Tulsa International Airport is less than 90 minutes away. The city has abundant water and energy supplies that ensure stable rates and plenty of resources for industrial expansion. A mild climate and favorable rates for electricity, gas, and oil keep industry utility costs well below the national and Midwest averages. Independence's stable economy and outstanding community cooperation, combined with a wide range of economic development incentives, provide the perfect business environment.